Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about the 10 rarest items in Rec Room. From clothing you can only get if you're of a certain stature in the community, to items that are just simply extremely hard to obtain. So let's get started. Number one, the bowling shirt, aka the dude sweater. There's a reason that you almost never see people wearing this sweater. You have a 1 in 250 chance of getting it from a game of bowling. I've watched people descend nearly into madness from grinding bowling for months to obtain this item. Um, are you okay? I've played 50 games of bowling today. And I still don't have the dude sweater. I'm so tired. Yes, it's a cool sweater, inspired by the movie The Big Lebowski. However, it may take five games of bowling, or it may take 500. You just don't know. So if you do see someone wearing this, and you want to spark a conversation, simply ask them how many games they had to suffer through before they got the coveted dude sweater. I'm sure the answer will be entertaining. Number two, the laser tag bucket skin. Grinding laser tag is a pain, depending on how you feel about it. I've played my fair share of games in the two years since I started Rec Room. Every game earns you 25 tickets and 100 bonus tickets for the first five Five games of the day. These tickets can be spent in a special storefront in this Rec Room original. Well, in all the time I've been playing, I've got a whopping 11,000 tickets in two years. One of the rarest items in the game is therefore this bucket skin, which is 100,000 laser tag tickets. If my math is correct, and I like to think it's not because this is ridiculous, that means you have to play somewhere around 800 games of laser tag for a bucket skin. I'm trying to remain neutral here because this video is about rare items in the game, not judging the means necessary to obtain them. However, it's very tough. Number three, gold weapon skins. If you're really good at Rec Room, you might consider joining a league. The promise of improving your skill, learning better teamwork, having some sort of structure in your life is appealing, right? Maybe. But let's be real. Most people join to annihilate each other in a proverbial bloodbath of elimination in order to claw their way to the top and get a rare gold skin. In Rec Royale, there's a golden backpack. In Paintball, it might be a gold sniper or a paint pistol. There's even a solid gold sword skin for the Golden Trophy League. So if you find yourself in a lobby of Paintball with someone who has a solid gold skin, you may just want to accept your fate right then and there. Chances are they've been training and beat the best out of the best to get that gleaming weapon. Number four. Crescendo S Plus items. Crescendo Drip is already rare because most people on the Quest 2 or certain other devices have never played it. Actually, fun fact, Crescendo not being on the Quest 2 is one of those deeply entrenched sources of angst for users on that platform. Every time it gets brought up, you can almost see the anguish as they say, I wouldn't know since it's not on the Quest 2. The Quest itself isn't that difficult per se. It's long though. If you don't skip any parts and you stop to get treasure, you're looking at like an hour of your time for one run. Getting S rank is difficult enough, but this is the only Quest that has S Plus rank. How do you do it? You can only have one death per player in the entire run through. Anyone who's tried this knows how basically ridiculous that is. Between the bats, multiple mini bosses, those stupid whips, and Dracula being a finicky, elusive frustration, it's nearly impossible. Now imagine completing it that flawlessly multiple times to get the entire set. There's very few people out there who have that kind of dedication to this Castlevania inspired quest. Number five, the golden creator outfit. To get some rare gold drip in Rec Room, you'll need to first become a partnered creator. This means that you can now exchange tokens at the rate of 250,000 tokens for $100. Once you've cashed out $100, you can get the gold creator hoodie. Cash out $1,000, you obtain the gold shutter shades. Cashing out $10,000, which is 25 million tokens, more tokens than 99% of us will ever see in our entire Rec Room lives, gets you a gold top hat. Now, if you're able to cash out $50,000, you can get the royal cape. I think seeing the hoodie would be rare. Now imagine the other tiers. I think I've only seen a couple people with these items the entire time I've been playing the game. Mind you, I don't hang out at creator events. I've never been to the roomies, so I don't know. Maybe there's a bunch of solid gold outfits being flexed out there, but I have a sneaking suspicion that there really are only a handful. If I see you wearing a gold outfit in Rec Room, I will come over and shake your hand and congratulate you because that is quite the accomplishment. Number six, the Video Partner Program Outfit. The Video Partner Program is for people who make Rec Room content. While it's not limited to just Rec Room YouTubers, you can be a TikToker, someone who makes art or music, the bulk of the people in the program make videos. To even gain access to this program, you have to have met certain qualifications, having a certain number of subscribers or followers on a social media platform, and having a good moderation history in the game. Once you're in and you start gaining supporters in Rec Room, that is, people who've used your unique code, the tally begins. If you have 500 people make a purchase using your code, you can unlock this special hoodie. 2,500 results in this cool camera skin. 10,000 and you unlock the video partner lanyard. And 30,000 people making a purchase in Rec Room with your code result in a super rare gaming headset. For the sole reason that it's insanely exclusive to even get into this program, these clothing items definitely make it on the rarest items list. Now, I can't brag about having many items on this list, but I have three of four of these, so thank you to everyone who uses code Terra, it really does help me continue to make these videos for you.
for you guys. Sorry, hashtag real talk moment. I really appreciate all of you for showing me so much love and support in the game. Number seven, rare camera skins. Camera skins are exceedingly rare in Rec Room as it is. I remember wanting one for so long and then the green Oh Snap weekly skin finally came out. I'm sure you can't even name five camera weekly skins off the top of your head. They're just not that common. So when I was studying item skins on the Rec Room fandom page, imagine my surprise when I saw that there are a few more that are very rare, but definitely exist. There's the laser tag pattern, a Rec Royale one, a comic skin, and a golden Oh Snap skin. These were doled out to a limited number of people in previous photo contests. I have a sneaking suspicion that eventually these may be re-released to the general public, much to the shock and disdain of the like two people who won the contest back in 2017. I mean, I don't actually know how many people won the contest or when they took place, but this seems like something that could happen. For now though, these cameras are still very limited in their appearance. Also, note to Rec Room if you're watching, I really would love to see more camera skins in the game. Number eight, Maker Pen skins. Maker Pen skins are available in the store in solid colors. There's purple, red, yellow, green. There was even a white one once upon a time as a weekly skin. But then there are these elusive Maker Pen skins that are only given to contest winners and Maker Pen teachers. Some of these are insanely beautiful. Check out the Carnival pen. That thing is a work of art. The Hidden Worlds contest winning skin is another one that I think looks pretty epic. And if you're a teacher in Rec Room, you can eventually gain access to this one as bragging rights for teaching 50 hours or more of a Maker Pen class. Those solid color ones don't even compare. I'd really love to someday have one of these, but the odds don't appear to be in my favor since the extent of my building abilities is still spawn in inventions, scale them, and freeze them in place. And sometimes I get confused when I'm even doing that. Number nine, Stunt Runner S Plus Hair. I'm putting the Stunt Runner S Plus Hair on this list because while this is not one of the most difficult Rec Room originals to win at, note the timing. You have to get through all six courses in four minutes and 45 seconds. I've taken just about that long to get through the first two courses, especially when I first started out. It takes sheer skill to learn all the skips and shortcuts in this game, so this hair is certainly nothing to scoff at, even if it does scream 80s mullet. Number 10, Class of Shirts. If you started playing Rec Room in a certain year, typically around the start of the following year, free Class of Shirts will be released and they're free. It's bragging rights, and while they aren't the most rare item in the game, they're certainly more rare going back. How many people do you meet that have a Class of 2016 shirt? Exactly. So while I'm certain there's exponentially more people each year that have these shirts, if you were one of the few who joined Rec Room in its pioneer days, you may have a huge flex in your wardrobe because they're only given to certain players who signed up in a calendar year. All right, time for some honorable mentions because there's really a lot more limited time and rare items that I could talk about. For now, let's add an additional five to the list. Retcon Bubbly. If you attended Retcon, then you'll know that Retcon Bubbly is a coveted item. Buy some, and you'll be able to flex on other players for the entirety of the next year, breaking out but not fully spawning this rare purple effervescent beverage. I personally bought about 10 of them at this year's event because I was tired of people waving them in my face after last year's. I thought, you know what? No, I'm gonna get some Retcon Bubbly of my own. And I did. Lava Pops. These bright Cheeto orange spicy popcorns are part of the new player challenges and you don't get that many of them. The first time I pulled out some in a rec center, I was accused of hacking. Ah, uh, the good old days. Lava Popcorn is rare, so use them sparingly if you do have some. Rec Room Seasonal Items. I can't just mention one outfit or season, so this honorable mention goes into the generic umbrella bucket. Whether it's a skeleton set in pink or a Christmas blazer with snowflakes on it, some seasonal items are not guaranteed to make a return. Zombie Halloween drip, red Santa hats. Rec Room plays into the FOMO with these rare items that come out but once a year. When you see someone wrapped up as a mummy and you want that outfit but they inform you it was only released on one special Halloween ages ago, I dare you to contain your FOMO. Isle Drip. Alongside Crescendo, the Isle outfits that you purchase with gold can be a source of much headache. You can't get that much gold per run through and the outfit isn't cheap. 20,000 gold for the hat alone? When getting less than a thousand per game, you're guaranteed to feel some sort of resentment once you're finally dressed in that black scallywag getup. I'm sure Johnny Depp spent less time filming Pirates of the Caribbean than it takes to grind Isle of Lost Skulls to obtain this knockoff. Graduation gown. If you dare to take a rec room class and learn some things about the game, you may end up with a graduation gown. It's a nice flex for those that see the appeal. You really don't see many people walking around with these because let's face it, it's a rare item and players are generally not dedicated enough to rec room to spend their own time taking an entire class to improve their skills. If I miss any rare items, let me know in the comments and be sure to watch this rec room video next.